How are you beautiful people? I really hope you're doing well. So I thought today, since I'm up early as per usual, that I would share with you guys my morning routine. Specifically, three really good habits for you to get into if you wanna have a nice, healthy, productive morning routine like myself. So before we get into this video, you might be wondering who the heck I am if it's your first time tuning into the channel. My name is Emily, sometimes known as Sham, occasionally known as Shamanism. I'm an author, an entrepreneur, and I'm here to help you guys grow into your next best versions. Now, let's get into this video without any further ado. <laughs> so the first thing that I would suggest doing if you wanna have a really healthy, really productive morning routine is to try to get up a little earlier. Now I know a lot of people were like, oh gosh, do I wanna get up at five or 6 a.m.? And if we were honest with ourselves, no, probably most people don't really wanna get up at this time. The thing is though, if you can adjust your body to that system, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can get so much more done. Ever since I started getting up at five o'clock, actually guys, is when I get up, not even six, I get up at five. Sometimes I even get up at three or four in the morning, if you'd believe that. The amount of things that I can get done, and the beauty of it is, this is just an extra bonus tip, but if you don't pay any attention to your phone or your electronics for the first, say, two or three hours once you're awake, you will have insane productivity, especially if you can calm your mind. So the second suggestion I would make, also extremely important to overall health and well-being, as are all of these tips. And don't forget, the last one is honestly one of the most important to set yourself up for a good day. So please do hang around for that one. So my second suggestion is to move your whole body. You wanna make sure we have a whole chakra system and you don't need to be in the woo woo community or field to understand that moving your body helps everything. It just does, Either whether you value it for endorphins or whether you just know that that's how your body needs to move for everything to flow. Either way, it's excellent. And I would highly suggest moving your body every single day, ideally, you wanna move every part of your body if you can, because obviously then, well, if you wanna get a little more woo-woo, you're opening up not only all the major chakras, but all the minor, the, the, I can't words today, all the minor chakra systems as well. So if you ask my personal opinion, I would say that your best bet is to go with some kind of yoga that you like. If not yoga, that's cool, but I would highly, highly suggest finding a type of activity that moves your entire body because you really do want to make those movements because basically it's true that if you don't like use it then you lose it in terms of your muscle and so you know for instance we could even take my father he got inspired by seeing me do yoga the fact that i can now touch my toes something i previously couldn't do and he started to realize that he wasn't as flexible as he thought he was and he started to do some stretching so what I'm saying is if you just even just stretch everything out on a daily basis to keep your muscles limber, well, I know it sounds like, well, how is that going to help me mentally? But trust me, guys, your body is one of the biggest keys to keeping a calm mind. And that's been one of my biggest revelations over the last year. So without further ado, the last tip and my personal favorite and one of the ones that's most dear to my heart and genuinely one of the most important things to keep yourself centered and productive and healthy and calm is meditation. My third tip, meditate, meditate, meditate. Guys, I know when you're coming into meditation for the first time, if you've never done it, it can seem really intimidating to, especially because you know, people are talking about how they meditate for 15, 30 minutes, an hour, say. Don't be intimidated by that. Everyone's journey with meditation is their own and literally I think everybody starts with about a minute. So go easy on yourself. If you've never meditated, I don't know why I can't say that word today, meditated. If you've never meditated, try it. Try it for 30 seconds a minute and see if it helps. And give it, I would say give it a week because you're not gonna see results right away because first of all guys, our mind just it's like a Rolodex. If you let that, you know, in, in the sort of spiritual side of life, we usually refer to that as monkey mind. You know, I sometimes call it Rolodexing because it makes me think of a Rolodex, just flipping through the cards really fast because your mind, unless you train your mind and give your mind an opportunity to mm, slow itself down and just relax a little, your mind will just never stop. 
I mean, it's it's something that we we get so into that uh, autopilot that we don't even stop to realize that we haven't stopped. And you know, it's funny, a really good practice, something really easy that you can do to test to see kind of where your mind is at is to, to stop and do nothing for one minute. <laughs> like uh, you can do this literally anywhere, but because one minute is just a minute, guys, remember, just it's just one singular minute as I hold up two fingers, it's one <laughs> minute. So I challenge you to see where your mind is at at least once a day, pause for an entire minute, like time yourself if you need to on your phone, on your watch, whatever. Give yourself one minute of silence and just observe what happens with your mind. And I think it will surprise you. So if any of this was of use to you guys, please do give me a like, subscribe, comment, let me know. What's your morning routine like? Do you get up as early as me? Do you get up later than me? How's your routine working for you? I'd love to hear. And better yet is if you have suggestions for folks that work really well that I didn't mention, you can also drop that in the comments. I hope you guys are having an absolutely beautiful week and that 2021 continues to treat you absolutely beautifully. And I hope that these tips will help you have an even more productive year. Now that's it for me, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a beautiful week. Sending you lots of love. Namaste. Take care, everyone. Bye.